Welcome to Brasilia, the capital of Brazil for the third ITF Beach Tennis World Tour Classics Tournament of the year. The tournament is located at the foot of the 75,000 capacity football stadium, Mane Carincha. Brasilia is the capital of the country that has seen the most rapid growth for beach tennis anywhere on the planet. 64 teams, men and women from all over the world were on the starting line for this marquee event, of which only two will be crowned champions. Brazilian and last events winner Rafaela Miller is very excited about her recent success and about the event here in Brazil. For me it was really, really, really special. I, it was my birthday. I make 30, so I'm getting old. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but yes, it was super nice. It was the second time that I won Gran Canaria and was really special. I played here two times and I lost two times in the semi-final. So this year I, I want to, to win this tournament. It's amazing, it's, it's really amazing because here there is not a beach. It's like a, in the middle of the city, so it's amazing. It's different. I, I prefer the atmosphere to play in the beach but uh, I'm happy that beach tennis is growing up and we can play in the middle of the city. I think that it's a, a good thing that the fans can be close to the players. I think that's a positive thing because in tennis there is a lot of distance, the, the play of the fans. So I think this, this thing in beach tennis is good. Here is the place that the atmosphere is, it's like a show. <laughs> yeah! They have to come here to watch beach tennis, to watch the, the show, watch the people. Here is the place of beach tennis, the heart of beach tennis. So before we get into the action, let's find out a little bit more about the rules of beach tennis. The main discipline in beach tennis is doubles. The size of beach tennis courts is 16 meters long and 8 meters wide. So it's a half a tennis court. The net is higher than a tennis net and smaller than a beach volleyball net and is 180 for the men. For women it's 170. The scoring is identical as in tennis. It's best of three sets and uh, with a no at, a deuce and a match tie break at the third set. A uh, beach tennis racket is a pedal with no strings. The beach tennis ball is softer than tennis ball. There are no bounces in beach tennis. As opposed to tennis, in beach tennis there is no let. So if the server hits the ball over the net and it touches the net, the point continues. When returning, you gotta stay behind the three meter line until the server has served the ball. In Bichinis, you can serve from everywhere, uh, in any side and in any zone. The first two rounds in the women's draw saw a very high level of competition. Aside from the all-Italian pairing of Greta Giusti and Veronica Cassade, most of the tournament favorites made it through to the quarterfinals. The Italians got caught off guard by an unexpected performance from Lorena Mello of Brazil and Giulia Trippa of Italy. We weren't in perfect physical condition, though we tried to do our best until the end, but it wasn't enough. Before moving forward in the draw, we sat down with 17-year-old Brazilian sensation and 2021 tournament champion, Vittoria Marquezini. Oi, my name is Vittoria Marquezini. I am a professional beach tennis player. I'm from the state of Paraná and I'm a Brazilian athlete. 
Since I was little, I told my mother that I wanted to do some sport. I thought I was going to play volleyball, but I ended up playing beach tennis. It was always been a dream of mine to be an athlete, and I don't see my life any other way. In 2021, we won doubles number three and number one in the world, and it was really good. I think it was very special to win the duo number one in the world and having beaten Brazilian doubles as well, the world's number one beach tennis athlete. I think it was my best victory in beach tennis, especially at just 15 years old. Playing in Brasilia is very special, with my family, with my friends, and to the Brazilian fans, we are almost like celebrities. In Brazil, beach tennis became a fever and everyone recognizes us. So it gives us even more pleasure and more desire to go and win. I think Brasilia will be a wonderful tournament as it was the last two years. I am very young and I've already won many titles, but I think there are great players coming along with me. Every day the sport is getting more competitive and it's even better for us to have more desire to train every day and to improve a lot. These are tournaments where every game from the first round is very tough, but being seated gives us a little advantage. Obviously there's pressure, but we say that playing in Brazil is easier with the fans, so that helps a lot and we can play much better. And we say it's two against one, us and the fans against the opponent. As the tournament progressed to the quarterfinals, third seeds Vittoria and her partner Sofia Chow, and fourth seeds Sofia Chimati of Italy and Eva Fernandez Palos of Spain were pushed by their opponents to a match tiebreak. Whereas the all Italian number two seeds, Nicole Nobile and Flaminia Dina, only conceded three games, defeating their opponents 6 2, 6 1. The tournament top seeds, Patty Diaz of Venezuela and Rafaela Miller of Brazil, dominated their adversaries with a double bagel. So the first semi-final of the tournament was a battle of former teammates as Sofia Chimati and Eva Fernandez Palos faced up against Flaminia Dina and Nicole Noble. Trying to make a statement here early, get that break here in the second game of this set. Dinah goes out, that's exactly what happens as Dinah puts it away. Trying to close out what's been a dominating first set. Dinah locking in. Windmill put away, yes! And the first set is in the books for Noble and Dinah. Love 15, important to get this service hold and not go into too much of a hole here in the second. Chimati takes the angle back to Dinah. Nobly getting challenged. She puts it back over to the defensive play there by Chimati. Chimati going up once again. Nobly's there. Palos getting in on the act. Well, points like that, that's going to help. Service error, and that will do it. Nobly and Dinah, 6-1, 6-3, they move on to the championship. Very emotional match because it was the first tournament, the first match against my old partner. But I mean, I think uh, I felt uh, just a little bit pressure. I, I start uh, feeling uh, a bit emotional just in the first game. And then uh, I think my head uh, used with the, with the pressure, with the emotion, and uh, I think I, I stayed uh, in the match and uh, I played with. Yeah, I really would like to thank the Brazilian torcida, the Brazilian crowd. It's amazing to, like, uh, I feel half Brazilian, so I'm part of it. And uh, let's go into the final now. I hope uh, you can cheer for us, guys. Next up to fight for a place in the final were Patricia Diaz and Rafaela Miller against Sofia Chow and Vittoria Marquezine. <laughs> So Diaz and Miller already their second break opportunity here early in this match. Miller taking over to Marcazzini, windmill by Diaz. Miller 
Saved by Diaz with her speed. Chow trying to get in and put it away. Back over to Miller. Oh, and a beautiful cross angle, and that's three in a row for Diaz and Miller. So it's a tight one here in the first set. It's set point, also break point. Marquezini and Chow just trying to hang on for dear life and extend this one to a tiebreaker. Miller goes in for the kill. Is it going to stay in? No, it will not. And Diaz and Miller lead one set to love. Miller serving it up. Diaz in position. Oh, and she plants one into Chow. So match point. Can they put it away now? Marquezini. Crossing over is Miller covering her partner. Down in the sand goes Miller. Chow trying to keep it alive. There's Diaz. Oh, can she put it away here? And she does. It's match over. They've moved to the final. It's a difficult match, but uh, we are super happy to, to be in the final. It's the first time in that we are in the final here in Brasilia. So we hope to play our best. We brought a very high level of each tennis. I'm super happy for this victory. And let's hope this crowd is all ours in the final. <laughs> so in the final, it was down to the number one and number two seeds to battle it out for the title. Dinah serving it up, returned back by Miller. Miller now with the windmill, answered back by Nobile. Crossing over now is Dinah covering her partner. Noble getting in on the action there down the middle, getting pushed backwards now, throwing it up high. Miller putting it down, and she does! Closes out the point in style. As you see, a little cat and mouse game here between Miller and Noble. As this one goes high, and Miller gets the best on this point. Noble serving it up. Diaz on the windmill, back to Noble. Diaz punching it down the center. Now Diaz forcing Noble over with the angle. Noble putting it, oh, she puts it away. Set point, break point here. Noble Dinah trying to keep this one going. Goes wide, oh, it's out, set is over. Nice exchange here as Diaz back to Noble. Dinah, a little drop, drop shot, answered back, taking it up high. Miller's there on the edge. Oh, what a beautiful defensive play by Diaz. And Miller with the easy put away. As you see here, a perfect example of how great defense creates easy offense with the Miller smash. Dinah serves it up. Miller on the backhand side return. Now Dinah throwing it up high. Miller with a beautiful windmill put away. So trying to close this out, will they do it? Miller's there, Noble, Diaz puts it away. And Patty Diaz and Rafa Miller are your champions here in Brasilia. It was super tough, it was difficult since that first match. Uh, beach tennis is not easy anymore, really. We, we have every, every round is super difficult. At every round we, we need our best. And I'm super happy that we, we're staying always constant, even under difficulty, and we are, we're staying together. That matters even most. So I'm super happy for that. This week was amazing. This is the first time that we in Brasilia. And also to play here with uh, these people, it's really amazing. I hope it co continues like this. <laughs> The men's event started with a big surprise in round one, with Brazilians Fabrizio Nice and Daniel Schmidt taking out the number four seeds and recent champions in Gran Canaria, Doriano Beccaccioli and Tommaso Giovannini of Italy. The other upset, but not so much a surprise, was the second round defeat of the Franco-Latvian team of Matthew Guagano and Max Andersons to the Italian-Brazilian squad of Marco Garavini and Daniel Mola. Andre Baran and Vinny Fon are two of the most famous and charismatic Brazilian beach tennis players. One, a vintage hero over the past decade, and the other, a current day superstar. I never imagined that I actually play beach tennis in my life. When I stopped playing tennis, I didn't really know 
about beach tennis. I knew it was a sport, but had never even practiced. Me and the players were coming back from the preseason, and we decided to stop by the shore and started to play there at Maraca Point. It was the first time that I touched the beach tennis rack. When did you realize that you had found your path in beach tennis? When I stopped playing tennis, it was really something new for me. I didn't know what I would do with my life, and I entered college, started working. It was a totally different life, but I always felt like something was missing that had not been fulfilled. I felt empty for not having been an athlete or a greater tennis player when I stopped at 21. You know, when you feel like something isn't fulfilled, I was like, dude, is there anything left? So that's when I joined the Beach Tennis Tournament Club, and we went on an adventure in the first tournament. I went in the professional category for the first time. We won the first match. We lost in the quarterfinals, maybe the semis. In the singles, I made to the semis too, and I said, I'm going to be good at this thing. I like it. What are your ambitions and what does the future hold? Man, I have my goals. I love to play, to compete and to train. And as long as I have this desire, as long as I see myself as competitive and with ambitions to reach where I want to go, I will. I'll keep training. We're always very united on the court. We always use the energy in our favor. And I think that makes a big difference. Our positivity towards each other. It was good as hell, you have to say. Very cool. It was all worth it. <laughs>
Galeazzi angle over to Gianotti. Galeazzi, oh, no looker by Galeazzi. And then Gonzaga putting it down with force. Backhand side return by Gonzaga. Gonzaga somehow keeps it back in play. Galeazzi's there. Galeazzi throwing it up high. Spoto, Gianotti trying to put it away, but he's off balance. Sets up the angle by Galeazzi. Spoto, Spoto somehow gets a paddle on it and wins the point. I'm not even sure what happened there. As we see the replay, Galeazzi taking it up high. Spoto back to Gonzaga. Off balance, sets up that beautiful angle by Galeazzi. But on the put away attempt by Gonzaga here, just kind of a dig and it works. So will they punch their ticket to the final here? And will we have a new number one player in the world? And that's exactly what happens. Giannotti Spoto move on. Just before semi-final, when I saw uh, Capelletti Ramos lose in semi-final, it was very difficult for me to, 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 to play. I was nervous, but nervous because I was happy and relaxed maybe too much a little bit. It's the first time that we are friend, one French guy, number one in the world. It's, uh, for Italian guys, and you don't understand, for him it's normal because everybody is number one from Italy. But for us, it's, a, it's an incredible, incredible thing that nobody feel, think about that maybe three, four, five years ago, it was impossible to imagine that. So now we are very, very, very happy. And but I'm focused to my final and we will see. The finals saw the number three seeds, Baran and Bermakan, battling it out with the number two seeds of Gianotti and Spoda. As Baran turns it up, backhand return there by Spoto. Vermaken sends Spoto down into the sand. He's able to get back up though. Oh, but Baran with a beautiful put away. And you see here, as Vermaken set that up with the angle, sends Spoto down into the sand, forcing Giannotti over. And there's just too much space there and Baran takes advantage. Nice exchange here at the net. Dug out by Giannotti. Angle play by Vermaken sends Spoto into the sand. Giannotti's there. Baran taking it up high. Giannotti, that one's, and that's out! Point, Giannotti and Spoto. As Spoto serves, trying to close out the first set. And that's exactly what they do. Set one in the books. Little touch play by both teams here around the net. Spoto taking it up high. Spoto, ooh, quick hands, able to keep it back in play. Giannotti sends it to the sky. And that's an easy put down for Nikita Bermaka. Oh, what a put away by Baran. And if you're going to take it over the head of Andre Baran, you're going to have to do a better job than that. Return back by Baran. Spoto's there. Taking it up high. Oh, and Andre Baran dazzling the crowd once again. Bermak and Baran trying to send this to a third set. Baran, little cross angle, back over to Spoto. Spoto challenging Baran, he sends it high. Giannotti covers. Spoto challenging Bermak, and now, but Bermak puts it away. We're going to three. Five three in the breaker now. Spoto tries to put it away, but answered back by Baran. And Bermak on a beautiful angle extends the lead. So match point here. Into the net and Baran and Bermakin, your 2023 champions and they deliver for this Brazilian crowd. Beach tennis is one sport, 100% mentality. And then you, you have a, a good mentality, champion mentality. Yes. Very happy to play in my country with this energy. It's unbelievable. Thank my team, the support. One is a special day, I'm very happy, not happy with Nikita is not the youngest player, needs energy, support, help, and people feel this, and I'm so thankful for that. And then with, with, with this uh, energy comes inside of me, I don't know, it's the magic. That's why I love uh, sport, I love competition, I love beach tennis. It's a great opportunity for my life to, to be a sportsman internationally. I want to thank my partner, for sure, for his uh, help, for being a team with me, mentally. Um, tactically, we did a big work to prepare here and the work pay off, so very happy. A truly spectacular physical and mental performance by the winning team here in Brasilia. 
Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you at the next Sand Series Classic event in Sarlouis, Germany.